some freshly ground black pepper. Cacciatore basically is like cooked in a hunter's style, so it's very rustic. Oh, rub that We're roast. Flip them over. Ooh, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> I've got chicken breasts here with the bone in and the skin on yeah. to make it look more rustic and give it more flavor. Oh, some extra virgin olive oil. You know, Don't we've all had chicken cacciatore in Italian American restaurants, and you a lot of times hot. it tends to be an overly sweet oh, sauce that goes in that oven. It's and an overcooked dry piece of Don't chicken. Worry. Well, this chicken it's real pink and tender on the inside, just the way I like them. Make you fall in love with this dish again. All right, all the sides are seasoned. Let's add some regular olive oil to our saute pan because we're going to brown them up. Raise our heat to about a medium. We want the pan nice and hot to get it nice and hot on the outside. Oh, now I'm going to cook the chicken in a thin layer of flour. And the flour I remember one time you put that thing on 350. Nice I don't know, pulling out oven for eight hours. It's going to come out so tender. I'm going to be able to cut that thing with a spoon. In northern Italy, they like to make this dish with onions, carrots, celery. In southern Italy, they like to use anchovies, olives. That's how I got my red wings first when I was younger. Must be that time for the month for that jelly the donut there, darling. Don't worry about it. I ain't together. afraid of no like little red. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God damn, <laughs> So I need an onion. I will eat that shit up all day long. I don't care what time of the month it is. You keep corn and baby before and I'll eat that shit. Just rough chop, this is rustic cooking. There. Don't have to worry about the size <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more oil so that there's enough oil in the pan to coat the vegetables so they can cook. And I'm gonna raise my heat to about a medium. And God damn add it. our onions. These three ingredients, the onions, the peppers, and the garlic, are the flavoring. Everything's gonna be 